this, this painting uh, here is Jerry Garcia, and it's not a dated painting of any certain time in his career. It's kind of a younger Jerry with uh, a guitar used in the uh, later days of his uh, career with the Grateful Dead. And uh, this, uh, I like to call this one Jerry B, but it's probably not titled that. But Anyway, uh, yeah, Jerry Garcia is still very popular in the world of rock music. And then we have Tom Petty here to the left. Uh, that painting was uh, done in the street uh, while, uh, when he played at the Target Center about probably six years ago. Uh, and uh, the sunset painting here to the right is uh, owned by an architect in Lake Elmo. This one was done uh, on Lake Calhoun uh, in 2008, I think it was August, it was started. And then I finished it and uh, uh, redid it and then sold it uh, last year. So it was actually worked on several years after it was originally started. Um, and that's acrylic on canvas. You can see the texture. You might want to maybe get close up on this and kind of show them if you get some of the texture. Uh, anyway, I don't know if it'll show up, but anyway. Um, yeah, that's Lake Yellow, and that's where I paint a lot. And then um, this painting here to the left is um, one that was started, uh, let's see, November of 2011, Thanksgiving, when we had the warm fall in warm winter, this painting was started and it was completed this year. So it was worked on, uh, there's probably four versions of this painting. Uh, I call this one uh, Lipstick Moon and it was completed this year. So it was started uh, in 2011 and completed in 2013. And this is a scene of uh, Lake Calhoun in Minneapolis at night. So uh, a lot of paint on there. And see there's a lot of texture on there. And uh, it's a painting I'm really happy with this one. It was a lot of work though. And then uh, to the left here, I shouldn't say to the left every time, should I? But who cares? Okay, this is Michael. This is uh, painted uh, from a, a news photo in the paper. Uh, I was in Madison, Wisconsin the day Michael died passed away, I should say, and uh, I pulled over in the park. There was a, a RV convention going on in, in Madison, an Airstream trailer convention or something. They had all these fancy uh, campers, and I pulled over in the park and I painted Michael in the middle of the afternoon because it was on all the radio stations, and I had a big crowd around me and <laughs> painted a picture of Michael Jackson. So that's a memory of Michael. Uh, See over here we have uh, Woodstock Jimmy. Now this piece is, uh, is this in the way? Mm -hmm. This piece is, um, this piece was uh, finished, uh, actually I've worked on it off and on over the last several years, but uh, I just keep adding to it. But this piece was started probably in 2009. Uh, late 2009, early 2010, I worked on it and then uh, put it away for a while and then uh, brought it back and uh, finished it. Uh, well, I keep finishing it, but now I think it's really done. So, but yeah, that's a picture of Jimi Hendrix at Woodstock uh, when he did his famous Woodstock performance. And then to the left of that is Willie Nelson. That's uh, Fairly recent painting, just a small, quick one I did of Willie. Uh, we went to see him in Mankato. We didn't get in the show, so I just did the painting in the parking lot out of the van uh, during that show. And uh, got it finished before Willie was done playing. And uh, so anyway, yeah, everybody likes Willie, right? I mean, everybody. Uh, pic uh, picture uh, next to Willie, there is uh, John Mellencamp. This is a documented painting. Of John, John has it on his website. And uh, this is a famous meeting I had with John, infamous meeting. I met John in Sturgis, and uh, the painting was started there from a photograph I took of him with my guitar. And then when he came to Minneapolis in November of 2010, 
he signed the back of the painting. And then I finished the painting after he signed it and then sent him photos of it and they put it on uh, his website. So uh, it's, it's for sale on his website and you can Google it by uh, Googling Patrick Ginter's painting of John Mellencamp uh, if you want to Google it. So. And then to the left of that, this next painting I should say, is uh, uh, Espresso Royale. This is in Dinky Town now, which Dinky Town is kind of disappearing. They were going to close and uh, knock some buildings down there, but uh, the, the, uh, it was stopped. So now all these businesses, except for this one and maybe one or two others, are, are this whole block is vacant now because... Uh, but anyway, this is Espresso Royale. I had an art show here in the fall of 2010, and uh, this painting was worked on for several years of uh, Espresso Royale, and uh, it's a neat little coffee shop. I believe they're a chain, but uh, they actually sell the print of this painting in the coffee shop now. So, uh, but this is kind of the scene there, people studying uh, uh, for college and hanging out and just uh, drinking a lot of caffeine, I guess. <laughs> Okay, that should be good. So, I mean, we got, we got a little ways through it.